What if I told you there is a form of money that doesn't require banks, it isn't controlled by governments and works anywhere in the world? This sounds crazy, right? That's Bitcoin, a digital currency that's changing the way we think about money. But how does it work? And why is everybody talking about it? Stick around because in this video, I'm breaking down the basics of Bitcoin in a way that you can finally understand. Quick note, this video is for people who don't have a clear understanding of Bitcoin. But if you would like me to make a video about Bitcoin's philosophy and its revolution, then let me know in the comment section below. Okay, the problem Bitcoin solves. Now, before we dive into what Bitcoin is, let's talk about why it exists. Have you ever wondered why we trust banks to store our money? Or why does your hard-earned cash lose value over time due to inflation? Our current financial system is centralized, meaning a small group of institutions like banks and governments control the money supply. And while this system works, it's not perfect, right? Think about it. Hidden fees when sending money internationally and people in so many countries have no access to banks or even entire economies being wiped out by hyperinflation. That is why in 2009, Bitcoin was created to solve these issues by giving power back to the people. And the crazy part is, we don't even know who the creator was. But maybe that's a video for some other time. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video on it. Now, what is Bitcoin? At its core, Bitcoin is a form of digital money. Unlike a cash in your wallet, Bitcoin exists entirely online. No coins and no physical bills. And here's another twist. Bitcoin isn't controlled by our government or any company. Instead, it is powered by a global network of computers using something called as blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger or a books of accounting. And the records are stored across thousands of computers. This is what makes Bitcoin secure, transparent and nearly impossible to hack. You know, using Bitcoin is surprisingly simple. Imagine you are sending money to a friend, but instead of handling them cash or using a bank app, you just send Bitcoins from your digital wallet to theirs. Now here's the interesting part. There is no middleman, which means transactions go directly from one person to another. There is also low fees. Sending Bitcoins costs a fraction of what bank charges. It also has global access, so it works wherever you are, even in New York or in Kenya. Bitcoin transactions are verified by miners, powerful computers that solve complex mathematical problems to confirm each transaction. This process is called mining and what keeps the network running securely. Here I can talk more about miners and nodes and uh, how it runs the Bitcoin network, but it might get too complicated. So give me a thumbs up if you want me to make a video about it. You might be wondering why does Bitcoin have value if it's just digital? Now that's a great question. Why does anything have value? But okay, let's entertain that question. So Bitcoin's value comes from many things. One is scarcity. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. Compare that to the paper money, which can be printed endlessly. And yes, there is a whole video we can talk about this can of worms. Utility. Bitcoin can also be used to buy things, send money or even store of wealth like digital gold. And trust. Millions of people trust the system because it is decentralized and transparent many times because they were left with no other choice from their governments. And here is where it gets interesting. Bitcoin's value isn't set by a centralized authority like a central bank. Instead, it is determined by supply and demand, essentially what people are willing to pay for it. Now, let's solve some Bitcoin myths in this section. Isn't Bitcoin just for criminals? No, I mean, bad people do bad things with everything. Criminals also use gold, cash and expensive paintings. And while it is true, Bitcoin was once used on dark web, today it is being embraced by major companies, investors and even governments. Can I lose my Bitcoin forever? Yes. If you lose your private key, like losing the key to your safe. But as long as you secure your wallet, your Bitcoin is safe. Now there's a complete video around this that I have made earlier and I will link that in the description below. Is Bitcoin bad for environment? Well, mining use a lot of energy, but innovations are making it greener every day. And many miners are using renewable energy sources now. 
and experts now think Bitcoin is actually good for environment. Now there can be a detailed video on how to buy Bitcoins, but here's a quick overview. You will need a wallet, a digital wallet or a Bitcoin exchange to store your Bitcoins. Popular options like Coinbase or Binance can be used. Then you will have to buy some Bitcoins. Once you have completed the sign up process, you can buy Bitcoins from these centralized exchanges. You can start small, even 10 or $20 is enough to begin. Just consider this like an experiment to learn and experience it first. You also need to stay informed. The crypto world changes fast, so keep learning and stay updated. If you get stuck somewhere, you can ask questions in the comment section below and I will answer all of you personally. And try not to click on any random links. Remember, trust nobody. So hey, that's your crash course on Bitcoin. Whether you're just curious or thinking about investing, Bitcoin represents a new way of thinking about money. Calling Bitcoin just digital money is like saying the internet is just email. And while I'm trying my best to explain these complicated topics, what point did you not understand? Let me know in the comment section below. And share this video with that person who's been curious about Bitcoin all this time. I would have told you to subscribe, but you can do whatever you want. Uh, in the next video, we'll explore the tech behind Bitcoin, which is blockchain. Trust me, you guys don't want to miss it. So see you guys in the next one.